Hey YouTube, today we're revisiting South Street to make some fixes. Hey everyone and welcome to Brick Talk TV, hope you're well. In today's episode we're going back to the Bricktown Rebuild series and if you've missed any of the other episodes in this series to date then please follow the link in the top right to the playlist and don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe button to join our community. This was how we left Bricktown in our last episode. We have placed the Ghostbuster Firehouse and the Daily Bugle and the Sanctum Sanctorum in South Street and you can see them in the shot to the left of the city here. But when we placed these buildings we had a few issues that needed addressing. Firstly the Daily Bugle and Sanctum aren't sitting properly due to the supporting foundational grids needing some additional work. If you missed our episode on the foundational grids then do follow the link in the top right corner as well. Secondly we also had an issue with the Ghostbuster Firehouse not fitting into position. This was due to our use of 2 by stud wide plates used for the curbs around the surrounding roads. So that's another problem we need to fix today. First up we're going to be fixing the Ghostbuster house. The aim of this is to swap out all the two wide stud plates for the curbs running around this section and replace them with a one wide stud plate instead. And then we'll replace the curb tiles on top. We'll then remove the curb tiles from the Ghostbuster firehouse and add the paving right up to the edge of the new curbs. So let's speed up this fix now. <laughs> fits nicely in position but we do need to extend the paving area in front of the firehouse so we don't clash with the drop curb and traffic light detailing that runs around the rest of the curbed area of this section. To do that we'll add these 8x16 plates in front and then we'll tile these over in future episodes to get the paving to adjoin to the firehouse itself. We're also going to need to add a driveway to allow access for X01 from the firehouse to the road and we'll also need to add a drop curb. the Ghostbuster firehouse now in place and looking pretty good. Next up we need to fix our foundational grids and we need to add some extra plating here in the middle to support the two buildings that are going to sit on top otherwise they currently sag in the middle and droop which isn't a great look. To do this we're going to add some half circle plates in the middle like we did in our previous grid construction 
and then off of these we're going to add a further couple of 2x16 plates and some additional two 1x4 plates in the middle and connect them using some 2x2 plates. The 2x2 plates will also raise up the buildings to level them off to the rest of our grid system that surrounds the buildings. Now the grids are done and before we place the Daily Bugle and Sanctum back, we do have this gap behind the fire station which is large enough for us to place another modular. So for that we're going to be placing the corner garage. Now this isn't my favourite modular building and the shape is a little difficult at an angle for us to fit into the rest of the city but I think this spot will do for now and it also is out of the way and won't get noticed too much. I will have to modify the paving to allow the cars to access the garage and we'll probably do that in a future episode. This set was released in January 2019 and was actually the first modular building I bought direct from Lego since leaving the Dark Age. It retails for £159.99 and consists of 2,569 parts and it contains 6 unique minifigures. Today picking one of these up new is about £190 or if you pick it up used it's about £173. So let's place this onto the grid. Here you can see the positioning and where we're going to need to be doing the drop curbs in the future to connect the garage to the main road. I think this looks fine here and it fills the space up for now and perhaps in the future I might swap this out for a different building that comes out but for now I'm happy to leave it where it is. There is a slight gap behind here you'll see which we could add another alleyway for or in the future we might actually push the building further back and extend the paving area in the front that connects to the garage. We'll cover this in a future episode, so keep an eye out for that. So now that that's placed, let's add the Daily Bugle and the Sanctum. This time I'm going to do as Matt Toke suggested in the comments in a previous episode and swap the Sanctum and the Bugle round so we see more of the facade of the Sanctum. So thanks Matt for that suggestion, it, it's probably going to be a good one. First up, let's get placing the Daily Bugle. <laughs> Here you can see that the Daily Bugle sits much better now as we've tweaked the grid and it also looks pretty good in this new position. As we move on to the Sanctum we do need to swap two of the portals round so that the greener monster that is bulging out of the side is actually removed to round the back because this is currently stopping us placing the Sanctum directly next to the Daily Bugle. So once the monster is pushed round the back we can reposition it into this nice new space. So here you can see the final positioning of the sets. It's now looking much better, both with the tweaked foundational grids and the buildings sitting much more level on top, and the new configuration of swapping the two buildings round looks much better and much more in keeping with the surrounding area. We still need to swap the curb tiles out from the existing buildings, but we'll do that once we start paving this surrounding area and we'll integrate it more into the surrounding space. You can also see behind the buildings we have a nice 8 stud gap which we can use in the future to create an alleyway and possibly introduce another street story. I might do something here around Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles perhaps. If you have any ideas about what to put in this alleyway then do put them in the comments below and I'll take a look later. <laughs>
So that's the update for today. And as you can see, this is what Bricktown looks like after we've made our tweaks today. It's looking much better with this new positioning of the buildings. I'm feeling much more happy about South Street in general. If you enjoyed this video, then do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for future episodes. And in our next episode, we're going to be laying the foundations for a light railway that will be running around our city. So until then, stay safe and I'll see you next time.